Hello students, in this module we are going to discuss about the problems associated with supersonic combustion. Myself, Manoj Kumar, Assistant Professor from the Department of Aeronautical Engineering. Problems associated with supersonic combustion. At high fly speeds, the residence time for atmospheric air ingested into a scramjet engine and exiting from the engine nozzle is on the order of a millisecond because scramjet engine operates at a high, high hypersonic speed. Therefore, fuel injected into the air must be efficiently mixed with tens of microseconds and react to release its energy in the combustor. The overall combustion process should be mixing controlled to provide a stable operating environment. In reality, however, combustion in the upstream portion of the combustor, particularly at high Mach numbers, is kinetically controlled where ignition delay times are on the same order as fluid scale. Both mixing and combustion time scales must be considered in a detailed study of mixing and reactions in a scramjet to understand the flow processes and to ultimately achieve a successful design. Airframe structural and heat transfer limitations constrain flight Mach numbers to specify altitudes and corresponding free stream conditions. Cycle efficiency consideration together with temperature limitations imposed by material and combustion product gas dissociation dictate the combustion system entry Mach number and thermodynamic state. The maximum combustion temperature occurs when hydrocarbon fuel molecules are mixed with just enough air so that all of the hydrogen atoms form water vapor H2O that is and all of the carbon atoms form carbon dioxide. Gas phase chemical reactions occur by the exchange of atoms between molecules as a result of molecular pollutions. Consequently, fuel and air must be mixed to near stoichiometric proportions at the molecular level before combustion can take place. Compressible shear or mixing layers and a jet provide good model problem for studying the physical processes occurring in high-speed mixing and a reacting flow in a scramjet. Mixing layers are characterized by large-scale eddies that form due to the high shear that is present between the fuel and air streams. These eddies entrain fuel and air into the mixing region. The shock and expansion wave structure in and above the mixing layer can interact with the turbulence flow field to affect mixing layer growth. Shock and expansion wave interacting with the layer result from the engine internal structure. Experiments have shown that the shocks that would result from the wall and strut compressions appear to enhance the growth of the two-dimensional eddy structure of a mixing layer. Operating efficiently and reliably over an extraordinary large range of flight conditions, including Mach numbers from 0 to 25 and altitudes from sea level to top of the atmosphere. Because scramjet engine can be used as a missile and also used as a first stage in the rocket also. It is the fact that practical aerospace plane configuration allow only one hole for the engine and that ramjet and scramjet produce no thrust while standing still or when the atmosphere is too thin. That means zero thrust. And further complicated because the airframe and the engine are totally integrated, not only with regard to generating net thrust, but also inevitably from the standpoint of the ordinary aerodynamic effects such as lift and drag forces and stability and control moments.
the current challenges in the development of scramjet engine can be gathered in three main areas air inlet combustion and structures and materials the first one is air inlet the overall performance of a scramjet is largely dictated by the aerodynamic performance geometric size and weight of the hypersonic inlets because scramjet didn't contain any moving parts like compressor and turbine commonly hypersonic inlets have a wide mach number range but the shock on lip conditions can be met only at the design mach number since shock angles vary with the upstream mach numbers thus at mach numbers higher than the design one the ram shocks move inside the inlet and evolve into a strong incident shock causing strong slip layers remarkable total pressure loss boundary layer separations and possible engine unstart condition at mach numbers lower than the design one the ram shocks move away from the cowl lip causing loss of the pre compressed air flow and the so called spillage drag to avoid these performance penalties at off design conditions the control of the ramp shock system is needed the next condition is combustion supersonic combustion is very difficult to maintain and continues to be an formidable task the largest problem associated with combustion is the mixing between free stream air and fuel if fuel cannot be properly injected and mixed into the air stream it will not ignite regardless of pressure temperature or equivalent ratio due to compressibility effect fuel injection presents challenging obstacles the air stream is at such a high pressure and velocity that fuel injected into the stream has a tendency to be pushed against the wall and it rendered ineffective in addition to the problem of mixing ignition and flame holding at this high velocities is extremely difficult another challenge to increase the performance is the need of variable geometry combustion chamber a fixed geometry combustor associated to a variable capture area air inlet does not benefit from the enhanced efficiency of the air inlet a fully variable geometry air inlet plus combustion chamber can increase the performance the next one is structures and material because of the thrust to weight ratio of scramjet being low compared to modern rockets the scramjet needs more time to accelerate such a depressed trajectory implies that the vehicle stays a long time in the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds causing atmospheric friction to become a problem this is not only for space launch application but also in missile or commercial transport applications heat addition produced by the combustion at these high velocities and temperatures is another significant factor to take into account therefore the material chosen for structure must have good properties and be adequately in front of these phenomena furthermore cooling of engine structure by fuel or radiation is essential challenges of scramjet development accomplishing stable efficient mixing and combustion in a supersonic flow within a burner of a reasonable size next is providing the structural integrity necessary for a reusable system despite the extremely hostile environment conditions because scramjet will operate at a mach number more than 500 
developing the analytical tools that enable confident control over the engine design and reliable prediction of the actual behavior because here each and every part is interrelated air inlet combustor and nozzle hose the next is proving that the aerospace plane and engine are ready for routine operation by means of analysis ground testing and flight testing of experimental vehicles okay students thank you